hello everyone you're welcome this is kingsley from kingsbird designs if you're just joining me for the first time please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video okay in today's tutorial i'm going to be walking you through how to get a domain for your blog so now we'll be going into i'll be showing you two different sites where you can get your domain and i will tell you where the particular one i would actually recommend for you to use that will give you less stress when working with so now i'm going to be the first one i'll be showing you i'll be going to be using our google domain first of all let's come to where we have our settings when you come to settings you are going to realize that this is where you have the address to your blog so that the address to your blog this is it like now having a exchangecell.blogspot.com which is actually too long we are having this .blogspot.com because you are not actually this is not actually your own domain so as you're using blogger blogger gives you this particular platform uh, opportunity to use the blog, the blogspot.com as a free domain so now i say you want to use your own domain you choose to use like for example you need something like exchangecell.com instead of the blogspot.com so now i'm going to be showing you how to do buy it and how to come and insert it here on your connect it to your dom uh, blogger blog so now so now what what we'll be doing let's go to our website now i'm going to let's try to search for let's search for google let's search for google domain google domain let's search for that by the time you search for your google domain this is what will come up now we are going to go with the first one here i'm this one with domain.google once you just click on the first one here once you click on it it's going to take you to where you to the google platform where you're going to be buying your domain from so now for example let's try to insert i might not actually buy a domain currently so i'll just show you the procedure on how to walk you through doing it so now i'm going to insert let me say exchange so let me see exchange so let me see i was looking for dot com so now let me click on get it so now you can actually transfer a domain you already own to here so now let's see if my domain is actually available so that's why most of the time if i used to i will advise you whenever you are trying to create a blog try to go with a name whereby the domain name will also be available for example if i should go with exchange cell now let's see if my google domain when i by the time i try to search it to buy the domain if the domain will, be, will actually be available for me to buy if it's not available it will be a kind of it will give my audience or my people visiting my site to give them a little difficulty because when they check the name of my site is answering a different thing and the link coming to the site is also answering a different thing so it's just like conflicting them so now let's see how if my exchangecell.com if it's actually available based on what we have here now you can see that i have exchangecell.website exchange cell dot rates that's to say probably my exchange cell dot com is not available you can see it's telling me that my if you can see very well here it's telling me that my exchange cell dot com is already registered so I cannot use this particular domain so that is why I always say if you are using creating any site ensure that your website the url is actually available before you can choose your name that's what, what i usually 
advise people so now on this particular one now let me try and see something if i should do it exchange cell let me say if see if this exchange cell will be available if this particular one will be available let me see still you can see that it's already taken so now yeah, that's why you can see there there are so many suggestions they give here which you can decide to choose from so now let me try one more thing here let me see instead of oh, maybe me going for this exchange so let me see if the.com will be available for this cell exchange let me see okay you can see based on what we are i'm having here you can see exchange cell exchange.com is actually available you can see this is this particular domain is actually available so now i can actually order for it you can see several other ones excel exchange you can see the so you can choose several other ones maybe you don't want that particular one you need any other one you can pick from here also so now let's say if i'm okay with this particular okay we also have the dot org here which is you can see from here i'm having a scene you can see the dot org is 12 dollar you can see the dot info 12 dollar dot us 12 dollar dot b 12 15 dollar so you can see okay now why we have this thing okay now this particular one that they said is available you can see that it's actually for sale look at the amount if i intend to buy it now sell exchange is uh, someone has already bought it and put it for cart ready for sale so now if i actually need it i can add it for sale but okay now let me choose another different domain let me say i want to go with the one for it dot org or let me okay let me go with the one with dot org i need to go with the one with dot org so you can see the dot org now i'm having it as only this i can choose from here so now i see that i'm having here has 12 dollar meanwhile in this other one i'm having this that's to say this person has already bought it and added his own money and now i'm to pay this amount plus the original amount for the well domain so now let's go with this other one i think i'm okay. if i'm okay with this i'll just do add to cart so i'm going to add this particular domain to my cart it has added to cart so now let me go to cart and see let me go to cart by the time you go to cart it's going to open up so now this is what i'm having if i should click on checkout what is going to tell me is you can see it will now require me to enter my card details so that you can see that once I enter my card details and fill in all this place, all this information, I can now buy my domain. Once I click on pay, it's going to actually deduct this money and my domain will be mine. So once I pay for my domain and I actually get the domain, what I'm going to do is to now copy the domain if it is from Google domain directly I'm going to copy the name of the domain now come to where we have this place and click on set up third party URL so now once I click on it I will now enter my the URL I bought for example I will cannot enter the let me say for example sell exchange let's say it was sell exchange sell exchange dot org was what i bought so once i enter the address i'll click on save so now you will with this now what happens here is that since i bought it with google domain and this particular blogger is google that owns it it doesn't it won't require me to start adding any dns configuration to this particular blog that is why i was if you are using blogger and sometimes i will prefer you buying your domain directly from google that's using google domain once you buy it from there connecting it to your blog will be very very easy you can do that even in one hand 
So now once you've done that and connected, say click on save. By the time you refresh your website and try to open it again, you are going to see that it's going to open up with a new URL of which you bought. If you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos. So once if you successfully follow all these all the steps I told you in this particular one, you're going to see that your website will be running on your new domain. So I don't really don't want to make this video too lengthy. Until next time, this is where I stop for today's tutorial. Bye.